but the British are one happy family, and all follow British principles. Everyone is equal there. That is if you are accepted. I met an Englishman who has been living in the UK for more than 30 years, with his Indian wife, who comes from a poor family in India, and lacks formal education. He is chronically unhappy about how his wife is treated in the UK. Both man and wife live on social services, and Mr. S has taken to the bottle. This case is an exception to the rule of Britain being a paradise for women. It is a paradise indeed, but only for women who get accepted into the community. Mrs. S never got accepted into the prestigious, colorblind, equality-oriented UK society, despite being colored. The truth is, being a Hindu, or lacking much formal schooling, did not stop Mrs. S from gaining social acceptance. The reason why Mrs. S was unwanted in UK society is that she made no effort to enroll in a woman's organization. She chose to stay home and follow her husband. She always did her own thing. Bago Pleto is a natural trait in women, and if you have that, you will be inducted naturally, you will be invited into a woman's organization. Hindu and white women stigmatize my wife, said Mr. S. She has only one friend, and that is a Muslim woman, said Mr. S. Progress is an unending process. People who are not satisfied are either eliminated, or efforts are made to get them satisfied. Because human nature is selfish, disgruntled people who are given satisfaction by the state are not going to care for those who have been left behind. Those who have been left behind have nobody to care for them may die, unknown, undocumented.